I'd like to see Sheriff Lily Reed. Why do you need Sheriff Reed, Mr... Carter. Captain Britt Carter. That's why the day when you, Captain Carter, step through the threshold of our department will not only be an important day for the whole of Sharpwood, but also a very happy day for me personally. Well, it seems I'm here to make Sheriff Reed very happy, son. Hey! I told you to stay away from my office! It looks like... It looks like we've got a problem here. And I need something that will help with these headaches. I, I get migraines, you know. Or is this a migraine or is it just a headache? It's not the same thing, you know. They're, they're different things and they need different medicines. The cure for one is not the cure uh, for the other, you know. And, and, and if something isn't curing you, it's killing you. The medicine for headaches won't help with migraines. Dr. Canaan explained the difference to me, but I... I uh... Okay, do you, do you need an aspirin? No, 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 it's a different one. Acetaminophen? No, 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 the one with the letter B. Hmm, well, let's just write that down. We need to talk, now. Excuse me, Mr. Nash, but right now I'm... Hey, can't you see? The, there's a line. I, um, what's going on here? I just listened to the... Needs of our townspeople every week. I try to help them get access to food and drugs that aren't easy to come by in Sharkwood. I don't want to... I don't want them going to the smugglers, you know? Get back to the end of the line. Quiet. I work here. Lily, there's a man you in... You work here? Well, then, I'll tell you, boy, the floor in the corridor I walked across over there is the dirtiest floor I've ever seen in my life. And if my taxes are going to... I'm not the janitor, I'm a cop. A cop? Perfect. Perfect. So you have to solve my problem with the rats. I don't... Lily, listen. There's a man named Carter waiting for us in my office. Carter? Wait, Captain Brick Carter? Yes, yes, that's him. Would you, uh... Tip. Write down all the medications Mr. Moses needs, then do the same for the others. Get everything down in detail... Go, oh, forget about your notebook. Take mine. Start a new page for each person. Got it? There's still one thing I just can't understand, my dear. Why did you write me this letter? If you already have this, uh, this... Mr. Nash appeared out of... He, he appeared unexpectedly. He worked undercover for a while, and he... He was sent for by... This is an operation. It's all part of a big operation. Some kind of big operation. I myself don't know all the details. But I think Mr. Nash himself can tell you everything he... Oh, I have no doubt that Mr. Nash will tell us everything. He'll tell us how he was assigned to this operation. He'll tell us how he was sent his orders on a beautiful piece of paper with a, a, a seal and a signature. He'll tell us how he had to pack up everything in his big city apartment and how carefully he packed his expensive trousers in his expensive suitcase. <laughs> oh, how he had to grow a beard to blend in. Yeah, <laughs> He'll tell us all about his brilliant career. Oh, you must have been an excellent student at the Academy, Mr. Nash. <laughs> or perhaps you think you already know everything there is to know. But there's something you don't know, Mr. Nash. It's something very important. A city like Sharpwood can't be saved by some uh, upstart careerists and bureaucrats from central administration. A city like Sharpwood can only be saved by its people. People who were born here, who grew up here. These are our demons, Mr. Nash, <laughs> and we have to deal with them ourselves. You were sent here by the chiefs in the suits. 
while I, prodigal son of Sharpwood, was returned here by the Lord himself. Oh, so in your opinion, Sharpwood will be saved by a lame soldier with no police experience holding his Bible at the ready. I will not take offense to your disrespectful remarks, Mr. Nash, because I myself was once just a stupid fool. I did not understand that God saved me in the war. I did not understand that it was he who helped me survive after... Uh, after what happened to me after the war. But now I understand. Now I see. Now I am ready, and have no doubt, Mr. Nash, I have come not with a shield, but with a sword. Well, then prove it. Work here for a week and show us what you can do. All right, I already said we're not making this into a stupid game. Mr. Nash, you've done an excellent job, but you have to agree that this Lily, isn't... this isn't a game, it's... This is a test, and it's a test that I humbly accept, my dear Lily. I have endured many... Pass them all with dignity, and I will endure this one, too. Oh, of course. You'll love it. Excellent. Just fine. Now we have two more stubborn boys in the department. Five forty in progress. Forty complete. Five thirty in progress.
534 in progress. complete. Seventy in progress. Five thirty four complete. Five twenty three in progress. Forty-seven in progress. Five twenty three complete.
547 complete. Five twenty six in progress. Five twenty six complete.
527 in progress. Twenty-seven complete. Five twenty-six in progress. Five fifty five in progress. Five sixty five in progress. Five twenty six complete. Five sixty five complete. Five thirty five in progress. Five thirty in progress. Five thirty complete. 